The implementation of EDLD 5318 uh, follows the same format with all ADL courses. Uh, we're using Blackboard and uh, we have the same layout in, in all the courses. Um, and it starts with this type of a format. You've got the home page, start here, syllabus and vitae, which is only really accessible once a course is live in this design stage. You can't see it. Uh, the guidelines, course calendar, and then in the weekly activities is where the modules reside. And then you've got additional information like the course communication uh, announcements, uh, different resources uh, linked to the weekly conferences, and then other additional information, grades, and so on and so forth. And then there's there's different uh, course management tools that the student doesn't necessarily see. So um, this is the basic format that, that we're using. And the uh, start here or the overview module, uh, again, is consistent in, in all the ADL courses. And it starts out with uh, an introduction. Uh, for the instructor, in this case, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Blard will be teaching this course um, in the Start Here section. Um, it talks about what is going to happen. There's a bit of a to-do list. Uh, there's the intro video, uh, which is uh, uh, follows a similar type of a format. Um, and then we've got the course level outcomes that point to the implementation of my uh, three column table design and the backward design and that alignment outcomes activities and assessment and so we've got the course big hairy Dacious goal and then the um, five key uh, outcomes and then there's additional course resources that are going to point to some of the uh, books that uh, we are going to ask students to use and then there's an online essentials and getting started component so these are the this is this getting started area this is the first thing that we ask the students to take a look at that's why it's called start here um, and students move through it now with respect to uh, the classrooms and the modules we've got three modules um, in this particular course um, and they follow a sim very similar fashion so when we go into module one or weeks one through three we outline the learning outcomes again we repeat the learning out outcomes many times throughout this course uh, and then individual or module outcomes as well so again we, we're repeating that same type of a a uh, structure so we share this with the learner in many many different places and the alignment of the outcomes activities and assessment comes very very clear when you see what the outcome is for this particular module you work through the module overview videos the um, first few videos that are, are going to be important for the modules you work through the readings um, and then the, in the discussion component which is part of that assessment as learning piece um, there's a variety of videos that um, are provided um, and then guiding questions and then you have the assignment section now you'll notice in this particular design that the the uh, discussion questions and guiding perspectives are the same as the uh, assignment so we use the discussion area of the course uh, to allow learners to actually come together, collaborate, and work on their actual assignment. So this is where we also align the activities because the assessment that their students are going to receive on what it is they create, um, we provide a place where you can actually work on these activities. So this is very student-centered in the sense that the students work through this on their own time, but they collaborate with others. We do have a weekly meeting where students come together and um, are uh, given the opportunity to meet each other and to collaborate and to explore key ideas and uh, questions are, are, are fielded. But students are primarily responsible for the work. And so the instructor, my role as the instructor, the instructor's role in this course is much more of a facilitator, a coach, and a mentor than it is as a presenter or a lecturer. Uh, now, this course is fully online. But because of the weekly meetings, we do ask students to act, to uh, review different videos and different you know components of the discussion, so that when they come to class prepared to discuss, there is that online blended learning uh, component. We bring students together in the assessment as learning piece in the first module. As you can see, we point to the um, assessment as learning uh, activity and this is where students come together to collaborate with each other and to focus on evaluation and analysis synthesis and creation now there are um, seven or eight weekly meetings but the majority of the work is being done in an asynchronous fashion when the students go through the course website but there is synchronous collaboration that is happening with the students as well so uh, in terms of the ratio i would probably guess that we would be looking at a, a 40 maybe a 50 50 split in terms of synchronous asynchronous 
Now, one of the key things that we uh, remind students of is that they, while they do work together and they collaborate with each other, they do uh, have access to the instructor. And there is a, a whole support infrastructure available to students through the Lamar University. So there is the instructor information, contact information, email, phone number. And then uh, we also point students to uh, tools and, and resources that they can actually take a look at in, uh, for getting support from uh, Lamar. There are Blackboard uh, support uh, uh, opportunities as well. So this was an example of the start here or overview module and the first module. And um, please note that this is a minimum perspective. You probably will have to go into a little bit more detail, um, outline your perspective uh, maybe in a more significant way, but we're providing you a starting point or a context for how you should uh, share what you've built. Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing your implementation designs.